When you want something so badly, how do you chase your life's dreams? Well, there's two ways to approach it. You can sit back, wait, and hope, or you can do what Chris Jackson from Bernie High School does every day of his life. Simply put, this young man goes after it with everything he's got, leaving nothing up to fate. Does fate always get it right? Take Chris Jackson. The 16-year-old from Bernie High School is not built to play football. Not on the outside. Who we got? Bobby, who we got? Bobby, who we got? But where it really counts, Chris believes God made him a football player and so much more. I think he put me on this path to open doors for other people, to show the road just because we're in wheelchairs doesn't mean we can't achieve our, our own dreams. I mean, we all have dreams. Chris was born 10 weeks early. He weighed less than four pounds and has what doctors describe as a moderate to severe case of cerebral palsy. He's endured 17 surgeries with more to come. I hate them, but I know that they're trying to make me better, so I deal with them. It's just part of life. But as fate would have it, it's life's little battles that are the hardest. Chris can't write, which makes math homework, any homework really, a team effort with his mom, Tiffany. I know how to do it, but explain it and tell you how to put it on paper. It's like, how, how do you do that? Fate got that one right, that relationship between mother and son. He inspires me as much as I inspire him. I'm, I'm going to make him go. I'm going to make him continue to do what he wants to do in life. We go good together. We're, we're very two very persistent people. I mean, it's, it's hard, but like, I don't take no for an answer. I, I'm going to go get it if I need to. And by it, he means football. His best Best friend Nick Novak is on the team, and although Chris couldn't practice himself, he would show up to push Nick. He's told me time and time again, you're like the brother I never had, and you know, that means a lot to me. He's the reason that pushes me through the hard times when I say, man, I can't do one more, I can't do one more, and he, he strolls over and he goes, come on Nick, you got one more in you, you got one more in you. Nick knew Chris had more to give too. Last spring, as Chris was recovering from hip surgery, coaches told him about an idea, a pilot program, if you will. Each practice, Chris flies a drone 200 feet above the field. This video gives coaches a unique and helpful view. We're at uh, 200, 215 feet in the air right 215 now. 215 feet. Well, it's huge because, you know, you can see he's flying the drones and doing that for us at practice, and, and we're using that video as a teaching tool. And it gives Chris what he always wanted. Go 2-0. I, I, think, I think it's safe to say we'll go 10-0. How about that? I agree with you on that one. Let's go win state. A spot on the football team. I had hip surgery in the middle of last year and I found out a little bit before that that they were going to make me the team manager. That's what I needed right before that was like a good motivation to tell, tell myself after the surgery you need to get yourself back on your feet, you need to get yourself re rehabilitated so you can be out here with the, t t the team. and. Be ready to go. He's like, Mom, I want to be with them. I want to do this with them. It, it's my turn. Chris's dream uplifted an entire community, and it came with a perk no one saw coming. He's on the team, and now we're here, and he's number 40. <laughs> it kind of like hits you in the face that the things that we take for granted, like just being able to walk and having each and every moment with them, just, I don't know, it really makes me feel grateful for just being able to be his friend and being able to do this stuff and have him included on this team. So did fate get it right? Maybe. But Chris doesn't rely on fate to make his dreams come true. Just because he's in a wheelchair, don't look at him different. Treat him like he's an individual that is standing on their own two feet because he is standing on his own two feet even though he's sitting in a wheelchair. It's hard, but I, my philosophy is if you put your mind to something, you can, you can accomplish it. So what's the dream now? Well, he's on the AB honor roll, the football team. He's got a great family, great friends. So what more does he want? He's 16. What else does he want? He wants a car. Chris knows that won't be easy, but he knows this as well. If something is worth having, then it's worth fighting for. And as you saw, Chris has no problem doing that. David Chancellor, News 4, San Antonio.